Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie for those of you that are new. Um, welcome and thanks for joining me today. So today is actually a sponsored video. I was uh, contacted by a company. Um, it's actually like an online store. They have a, a shop on, um, they sell on Amazon is what it is. And they're called uh, Bleds, B-L-E-D-S. And um, so yeah, they sell a few things on Amazon and I had worked with them before. So this is my second time working with them. The first time they actually sent me this beautiful, um, it's called Vintage Rose and it's six by six paper. And so they sent this to me and I actually made little coin pockets with this that they came out really pretty. Um, if I remember, I'll link that down below. But yeah, they sent me this the first time and they reached out to me again asking if I wanted to um, share some, I guess, new items that they have um, that they're selling on Amazon. And so, um, yeah, they went ahead and they sent some stuff to me and um, asked me to do an unboxing and I was more than happy to oblige. <laughs> so let me show you first. They sent me this box and isn't this beautiful? I mean, the box alone, right? And so this is a stationary set at, I believe, a little over 500 pieces. And so I will link the items that they sent me. This is like one, one item, you know what I mean? So you get all of this, um, all of this in the set. And so this is what they sent. And there's a few, um, let's see, here's 40 pieces. Let's move this off to the side. And let's look at everything that's in here. And so we have some really pretty yellow, those PET stickers. So it looks like you get two of each. So these are pretty. So there's these. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Very pretty. So there's these. Oh, those are nice. Okay, so that's that's in the stickers. So I believe it just gives you one pack of stickers in this set. And then you get one, two, three, four, wow, five, six. You get six packs of um, the different size papers. So let's look at that. So here's one pack. This one, um, I guess each pack has 60 pieces. So let's look at this one. This looks like it's more of the, they look, it looks like, oh, that's funny. It looks like handmade paper. You see all the little bits in there, but it's, it's just regular. It's thin paper. The, this paper is good for um, collaging. And doing master boards so that's really pretty so there's that so this one measures um, almost about two and a half by two and a half is what this is and then we have a little bit longer pieces so it looks like you get two of each oh but these are really pretty it looks like they're textured, but they're not. They're smooth. So this one looks more of like the, the handmade papers. That's pretty too. So there's that one. That one I believe is also, well, this is actually two and a quarter by three and a half. That's that size. And then you get this size. Again, very pretty with all of the little floral bits 
what's in here. I love when it looks like it has like the little petals in it. This looks like it's a little bit coffee dyed or coffee stained, I should say. So there's here. So there's that one. So it looks like each pack is um, themed. So let's just put that back. This one looks like it's grid, grid paper. So let's see these. Looks like ledger. Oh, okay. So there are all oh, cute. I like that some of them have like a print. This one has just the lines. This looks like the bottom of an invoice. Oh, these are cool. There's that one. Then you get the grid on this. Again, more ledger with a receipt. This looks like school paper. There's this one. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this. Very pretty. And then the bigger size. Days of the week. More ledger, more grid. Sorry. Some of them are upside down. And again. Yeah, these are perfect because they're thin enough for um, master boards. So there's that one. Let's see what this one looks like. Just looks like textured, a little bit ripped. And then there's this. Yeah, this is more like textured, ripped pages. There's that one. Whoops. I almost lost it. And then there's these. Some of these have words and letters on them. Yeah, this would be a very good starter pack if you want to um, make master boards. And again, with master boards, you can do so many things. So these are florals. Oh, these are pretty. That would be cool to make one, one master board out of each little pack. So like that, they're kind of themed. Or if you do the little, like, um, what are they called? Those glue books. Oh my goodness. There it is. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, these are really pretty. The florals on these are very pretty. And then here's little roses. Little pink. 
very very shabby chic right i love i love the colors on these yeah those are really pretty so yeah i think um they're kind of trying to widen their selection on their um, Amazon store. And so when they reached out asking if I wanted to, oh, this one has three, if I wanted to um, review these little packs. So I thought that, be, I thought that would be fun. And so since I was able to order it through Amazon, then um, I got it the next day. And then I have two more left. And then there's still um, a couple other things in the pack. So here's more of the writing, postage. Oh, I think these are more like receipts. So I don't know where home is, but I'm on my way. <laughs> That's cute. Save the date, 2012. That's pretty. So here's these postcards. I like this. These are like more of a postal theme. You're getting too caught up in the things that don't matter. Ooh, well, there you go. Oh, these are really cute. Look at that. Oh, I love these. I'm looking at them myself and I'm not even paying attention if I'm showing them right. <laughs> Sorry. But these are very, very cute. I love that. I think this might be one of my favorites. Look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at the little girls. Yeah, this is really cool. Look. <laughs> oh, she ripped it. P.S. I still wait for you. Aw. Aw. Very pretty. Look. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was very pretty. I love that. Okay, and the last pack. This looks like just the, the crumbled up wrinkled paper. So there's these. little bit of texture. Well, it looks like it. They're still very, very smooth. They just have that look to it. There's that. Then there's these. It looks like it has a lot of shadowing on it, doesn't it? Some dyed, some crinkled, some more dyed, crinkled. I love the neutrals in this one. So there's that, and then there's these. Yeah, you get a lot of pieces in this pack. Very cool. Okay, let's see what else. I still have another little box that they sent me as well. So there's that. They did also send this, which is really cool. So it's just a roll of the, um, the glue tape. So that's really cool. So that'll help you um, do glue on those. Then there's this, and this one says it's 100 pieces. 
and it's just little decorative paper. But look at how pretty that is. So let's see. Oh, even that is cute, isn't it? The little card that's on the inside. I love these things. I really want to make a project using up these. So here's these. Oh, look at that. It's already cut out for you. That's cool. Oh, these are neat. See, look at how cool those are. They're already cut out. So there's that one. So you get two of each. Those are neat. Look at that. I love that they're cut out. Look at the way they are, they're cut. See that? Those are cool. Yeah. I love the way that these are cut out. Okay, now these are just square. There's some more that are cut out. Look at that. So you have more square. Oh, those are pretty with the roses. And then a little bit of like collaging already. That's cute, look. <laughs> it's got the little clip on the top. So with roses. Yeah, you get a bunch of different um, sizes in here. Oh, wow. Then you get these. Look like little clipboards. These. These would be cute to put on the back of um, like little journal cards. They have plenty of little space to write on. Yeah, see, look. Actually, that's a really good idea. Instead of just wanting to use them on, um, like, um, master boards, put them on the back of the journal cards. Let me, let me hold this better. I feel like I get a better grip. Yeah. That's a very cool idea. And then you get some that look like they're already um, collaged. But very cute. August, November. And then these little things. Oh, I think this was supposed to come off. So there's that. Very cute. Yeah, they did good. Let me put the smaller ones in the front. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that back into the box and then I'll organize it again later. So there's that box and then, which the box itself is so cute, isn't it? I love that. And then they sent me these and I forget, oh, 50, 50 rolls. Look at this, 50 rolls of washi. So you have the blues on these. Let's just take one out and see. So this is how much you get, which is really good because since I don't use too much washi, it's kind of cool that they give you a little bit of every color. So, ooh, yeah, these are nice. I love these solid colors. That's perfect for me. What did I do with the... Oh. I was like, what did I do with it? So these are the blues. And then we have the reds and oranges here. 
Let's do the solids first. The more muted um, pinks, reds, yellows. These I love. These are more of the natural tone. Those are pretty. And then let's see, let's keep going with these. And then you have this color, come on, there it is. So gray, pink, purple, blues. And then let's see, greens in here. Let's get my tweezers out for this one. There it is. Yeah. So you have the pretty greens in this one. These boxes are cute, aren't they? Then it looks like you get some printed ones in here. So let's open this. Oh, those are cute. Perfect for spring and summer, right? Those are very pretty. So there's that. And then we have some more in here, more florals it looks like. Kind of like watercolor. Those are pretty. Can I just see? I wanna see what this one looks like out. This little design looks pretty. I just wanna see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty. Very cool. So you have that one. Then you have this big roll, so this is thicker. And you get more, it looks like you get more in here. So these are cool, let me see. These are a little brighter for my taste, but let's see. Yeah, you get more on these. Again, another great starter kit if you're wanting to do like junk journaling. This is pretty. I love the polka dots. And then you get this one with the ice cream and cupcakes. Oh, that's cute. Let's see, let me fill, where's the, here it is. So there's this one, very cute. And then you get the orange polka dot, this chevron kind of zigzag. That's pretty. Ooh, these are feathers. This one's cool. It's like, um, again, like watercolor. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, you get a lot on this one before it starts repeating the next, um, the same image. So there's that. You get some green polka dot. Then you get this one with, um, looks like black flowers and like a pinkish butterfly. So let's see this one. Yeah, that's pretty. And they're very sticky too. You know how sometimes you have to kind of be careful with it. So there's the green and white striped. You get more of the polka dot and then more of this little zigzag. Let's see. Yeah, I love the way that sounds. Doesn't it sound cool? <laughs> and then they give you two of these little glue tapes, which is super cool, I guess, kind of to reinforce maybe your project. Love that. But yeah, these are really cool. I'm actually very pleased. I'm really not a washi girl, but these are really cool to have. And then they give you all the different colors. I love that. So like that, 
if you need any for whatever the case may be, there you have it. I did want to share um, just a little something that you could do with washies. And I made a few. I didn't want to practice on these, but I did make a few um, with washi that I already had just to kind of see what I could make with them. And it's, we're taking out vellum again, but this is just the plain vellum. And just to kind of decorate with pockets. I know yesterday we were working with making, um, what was it? We made little envelopes with the, the mini envelopes with the vellum. But with this one, I just kind of want to share quickly. So this one we're going to do, I, I just um, got the 8.5 by 11 and I folded it in half like hot dog style, you know what I mean? And then I'm cutting it to four. The fold is down here. The open part is here. And then, so this is four inches. And then I'm going to cut the open part. Oops. I'm going to cut the open part to three and a half. And these are just going to be little pockets that you can put. Of course, the measurements, you do whatever measurements you want. So let me just quickly. So we're just doing um, four by three and a half. And the folded part is on the bottom. And I actually saw this on Pinterest. So this is not, oh, I'm not going to cut this. This is not my original idea. But just to kind of give you a sample of what you can do. I, um, I thought that this was really fun. So maybe with the bigger, let's do, let's do purple. And so this one is just the leftover. So I'm using actually this side because I want this to be my pocket. So let's just quickly punch holes where we want the little thumb notch to be. And there. And so let's do it with this one. And so all I did was, actually no, I want it to be more halfway. So I did it halfway. And then I fold it over. You cut off the ends. And then we're going to do that again, about here. They don't have to be perfect. And then again, folding it over, cutting these off. And then doing the bottom. And then I'm going to show how you can use the um, the thinner ones because this is the thicker one. So this one you can actually fold over. But isn't that cute? These little pockets you can put in your journals. See that? So there's that. Let me show you one with maybe, uh, let's do these neutrals. Let's do maybe this. I feel like this is kind of like a leather brown. <laughs> Let me take this out. Isn't that cool? I love that color. And we're going to do it with this one. But this one, because it's a thinner, um, washi the tape oops 
I didn't grab that right. Because it's a thinner tape, all I'm gonna do is put a border and not try to fold it over. And so just holding it down, trying to get closest to the edge as you can. Wow, that really does look like leather. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it around and just cut off the edges that are sticking out. And so what I like to do is I like to do the um, sides first and then we do the bottom. And it just gives it more of a uniform look. So there's that. You can fold it over if you want. But if you fold it over on the top, then it is going to close a little bit more on the... Um, the opening of the pocket and then put this here on the bottom make sure that's down really well and then we'll do the other side and then I'm going to show you how we're going to close it So just again, just repeating what we did on the front side. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. that close enough and then do this and then let me get all these little pieces out of the way wow yeah this is very sticky which is good look at that come on and then the last one on the bottom and then I have this really cool tool. That we can kind of semi staple it cl closed. So there's that. See how cool that looks. But I have this little cool little gadget. And it's a stapleless stapler. And this is what I do. Just making sure that it's all the way down to the bottom. And then again, doing the corners, doing what? But this wouldn't be something that you would want to put like little things in. This is more just to kind of hold papers. Just a little simple pocket. There. See? And that's how it kind of crimps it closed. But isn't that cute? So just a couple ideas on what you can use. And then if we wanted to get fancy, we can actually add some stickers on it. So let's do, I really like this one. We can put like this here. I need something that's a little bit kind of the same width, I guess. So let's see. I could do maybe this with this. So let's do these. Putting that here. And then if you wanted to make it double-sided, you 
can put another one on the back side. Let's do it more like this. There. There you have it. Cute, right? So there it is. Just a simple idea what you can use your washies for. I just thought that that was a little fun um, little project to do just to kind of share. So that's it, you guys. That's um, that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will be linking these items um, down below. Um, thank you to Bleds for um, wanting to work with me again and collaborate on this video. Uh, thanks for sharing your products with me. These were a lot of fun to go through. So thank you. Thank you so much. And um, I'll be sure to link everything. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will link um, also their um, store on Amazon. So if you guys are interested to look at anything else that they do have. So thanks so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.